I think the word that describes her best to us is just that she's a miracle, that um, her life was so fragile at first. Sarah's daughter, Ashley, survived a premature birth and three heart surgeries, a miracle indeed. She's just cracking me up here. She's all like, look at you putting your arm around me. You're being sweet. But then doctors discovered another problem, a rare disorder indicating that at some point, Ashley will almost certainly get cancer. After everything we've been through with her heart and at birth and just how fragile her life was, we just are also trusting that the doctors will diagnose her at the correct time. Also knowing how big of a fighter she is kind of helps us to know that she's just gonna make it. Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome is so rare and unstudied, there are few treatments. But one of the country's leading experts believes there is hope for children like Ashley. The vision is that uh, with enough resources and, and um, brain power, uh, we will be able to identify children with this cancer predisposition syndrome and treat them prior to having the cancer to prevent them from having the cancer. In fact, this would be uh, the ultimate goal for us. Vanderbilt's Dr. Michael DeBon is looking for genetic clues to understand why children with BWS get cancer. He and colleagues believe the key is targeting a genetic mutation that may unlock the cure. There are drugs that have been developed in the pipeline, uh, and there are animal studies that suggest that this may be a reasonable strategy. And to our knowledge, this would be the first uh, study undertaken to prevent cancer in children who are predisposed to developing cancer.